Hey guys, another video on how to do the pilot learn. We've done it before, but a few people have kind of uh, not seen it. We're out on site in Derrimut doing a pilot learn for someone that grabbed the injector kit, did their own injectors. Um, so we can do that if it's not too far away and we've got other recommended repairers around the place that can help you out with that if you haven't got your own scan tool. Um, point I wanted to make is if you saw the picture at the start of the video, that's what happens if you forget to record the conversation codes from the injectors or you take a photo of the side of them. You need the number off the top of the injectors, okay? So clients actually climbed up there and read them out to me while I punched them in. Now we're gonna run you through the pilot learn, okay? This engine's been driven this morning, an hour or two ago, so it's a little bit warm. So it may vary a little bit, but I'm gonna give you the information, sit tight, and we'll get through it. Let me just have a look and see what's going on. Try and set that up about there, we'll do. So on our scan tool, what we're looking for is Pilot learn, pilot learn quantity detail. We're going to hit that one. And it tells you welcome to pilot learn. Just press next. Then it tells you confirm the engine's idling, which it is. You can hear the engine's idling, so we say next. Okay, it tells you da 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 whatever. Just press next. Even if you're using text room, it'll be similar. See the coolant temp's 57. Please wait with engine idling. If this condition is fulfilled, the screen changes automatically. So at the moment, you just gotta leave the engine idling. And I'm telling you, when it comes up to about 70 degrees C, that's when we're gonna to have to take care of the next part of the procedure, which is described on the screen before we go to the next screen. Sit tight, I'll show you that. I don't know if I should stop the video. Yeah, probably should, eh? So we'll stop this and we'll join it on. All right, so. It's just moved to the next screen, as you can see. It's been sitting at idling probably about 10 minutes. These are the lights you've got flashing while you're doing the pilot learn. These lights start flashing after you put the compensation codes in on a 150 Prado or Hilux, the same vintage from about September 09 onwards. Different system. Once you put the compensation codes in, you're gonna get some lights on. Once you start the pilot learn, this is what you're gonna get on the dash. This is what it's going to say, right? Make the engine 3,000 revs and release accelerator pedal completely and quickly. That's like a quick stab in the dark within two seconds from beginning. So that doesn't mean push it up and down slowly. I'll show you the procedure, what we're talking about. Let me get set up here. I'm going to do it from, well, I'm going to do it from outside the vehicle. I don't know where I'm going to do it from exactly. Let's see how we go. I'll get in the vehicle and do it, okay? You don't, the screen I'm just going to press next, doesn't matter what it says. You, you can count how many if you like. We've done this before in other videos, but we're just doing it again. it quickly and don't put your foot back on until it comes back to idle.
Michael doing that? Crazy. Brian? Okay, you can read. The going rate for this job, that's inputting the compensation codes and the pilot learn when done professionally, a good pilot learn like that, shouldn't be any more than $120 if you take the vehicle to someone, okay? Not more than $120. Any more than that, you're getting ripped off. If it's just inputting the compensation codes, it's about five minutes work once the scan tool's fired up. You need to double and triple check those. I'd suggest that job's worth about $50, okay? So 50 for the compensation codes, 120 if it includes the pilot learn. Obviously, cost can be higher if you expect someone to come to you because time is money. Let's switch it off. Wait 10 seconds, we did that. Let's just start it up again. Okay, so then we're gonna go DTC. We'll go exit first. DTC's right. 
And it's going to have a 1601. There it is. And then clear, clear, clear. Oh, bang, nothing. Bada bing. No engine lights. Well, what do we got? We've got the handbrake on the door opening the seatbelt not on. So other than all the normal stuff, no engine lights. That is the pilot loon done. Don't get ripped off and don't make the mistake of not doing it or thinking you need to do it when you don't. Check all our other videos on our YouTube channel in regard to Pilot Learn and be careful whose information you watch because there's a lot of bad information out there. You've got to choose who you watch. You can choose me, you can choose someone else. Where there's conflict, you've got to choose. And that's why I try and show you with videos how things work. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked that and it was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.